Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another haul video. I know, I buy a lot of stuff, I can't help it. It's just in my nature, I love makeup. So what can you do? Um, also, I'm not naked, I'm just wearing a strapless dress. So yeah, I'm not naked, chillax, all good. Um, yeah, let's jump into the haul. I picked up a few things from a few different places, but majority majority of it is from Priceline. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I love Australis Velour Lips. I think they're really, really good. And they're probably some of the best lip products in the drugstore that I have found at least. So I picked up four. One of them's a repurchase, then the three other ones. Uh, from the new launch that they did. Um, these were the only three that really stood out to me, so they're the only three that I picked up. So they're named after cities, just they're spelt differently. So this is My A Me, which is Miami. This one is Hon O Lulu, which is Honolulu. And this one is Lun Dun, London. Um, I don't really like how they name them after cities but they don't spell them right like they put a twist on it I don't know, I'm just not a fan of that I don't know why but yeah um, and then I also picked up another Puri because this is like one of my favorite lip colors ever um, it is kind of similar to Honolulu but it's still very very different like as you can see this one is definitely more on the orange side well this is more on the neutral side so yeah but I love these these are amazing Okay, so recently at Priceline, they were doing a half price off Bondi Sands. Like, what? Ridiculous pricing. So I did pick up a few things from that brand. I picked up two bottles of the Bondi Sands self-tanning foam in dark. I continue to buy the dark one purely because I know what foundations match me when I use the dark one. I feel like the one in the white bottle, the lighter one, it's going to be a different undertone. So I'd need to buy more foundations and stuff to match me for when I'm that color, which I really just can't be bothered. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sticking to the dark one. At least that's the theory in my head. I'm sticking to the dark. Really, really like it. If you want an affordable fake tan, go get it. It's only $20 full price. So I picked up two for $20. Bargain. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then I saw this, which I never seen before. Uh, it's the Bondi Sands Everyday SPF 15. So I think this would be amazing to actually wear in the daytime. Um, like if I was going out like bushwalking or just like anything that I normally do outside during the daytime. Um, I think this might be a really, really good one to, to use. Um, purely because it does have SPF and it also has the gradual tanning properties in it. Haven't tried it before, but I'm super, super excited to give it a go. Let's take a break from that. Um, so I needed to buy a textbook. Um... Yeah, textbook for uni, and I didn't want to pay the hundred and twenty dollars. I think it was to buy it brand new from the bookstore. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to secondhand bookshop. And it was like eighty dollars. I was like eighty dollars, and the the teacher already said like, don't buy a brand new one. We're not gonna use it next year. You can't sell it. Don't buy new one. Buy it secondhand. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna pay eighty dollars for something that I can't resell. Um, like textbook wise. So I was like, all right, I'll have a look online. On Amazon, it was on there for four dollars and seventy two cents. Four dollars and seventy two cents secondhand. Like what? And then it was like $11 shipping, so I was like, oh, let me see if I can add something to my cart to make um, my shipping worth it. So I added the Lorac Pro 2 palette to my cart and it didn't increase the um, postage costs. So I was like, sweet. So I picked this up for $42 American dollars. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. I love it. It's really, really nice. It's very, very similar quality to the Lorac 1 palette. Would you like to see a comparison video and which one I'd recommend more? I don't know. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that. But so far, the quality of these is very, very comparable to the first one. And yeah, I just love it. It's really, really beautiful. I'm wearing a little bit of it today. I'm wearing the navy and the charcoal color on the outer parts of my eye. And then I have another eyeshadow that I'm used on the rest of my eye. So yeah, really, really happy I picked up that. And then I also decided to just pick up some lashes off Amazon as well because um, I was kind of low on lashes, so I decided why not. So I picked up four pairs of the Ardell Glamour Wispies in black. I have them on my eyes today, and these are just really, really nice. I either use these or Red Cherry eyelashes. They, they're the only two brands that I really use. So, yeah, I was super, super happy that I was able to get the eyelashes 
the Lorac Pro 2 palette and my textbook plus shipping for cheaper than the secondhand copy. Like, what? That's a bargain to me. So happy. <laughs> so happy. Long story, but I am very, very happy. EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. Oh my god, this is my ride or die. Like, no joke. I have a first impressions link down below of this foundation. I normally wear the shade F200, which I picked up a second bottle of. I also picked up F300 and also F100, just to kind of mix, compare, and again, it's my ride or die. But the reason why I placed my order on Look Fantastic for these foundations was because a girl on my first impressions, I can't remember the comment off the top of my head, but it was something like, Oh my god, like, you must have gotten a mislabeled bottle of foundation because the second shade wouldn't be that dark. So I was like, okay, like, maybe you own it and maybe it doesn't look that dark on you. Maybe it, I did get the wrong one. I don't know. So I was like, well, it's my ride or die, so I'll just buy... F200 again and I'll buy F300 and 100 and compare. So as I expected, that girl knew nothing. I hope she doesn't watch this video because that'd be really, really embarrassing, but I don't even care because she wrong. This is my this is my second bottle of F200 and it literally looks the exact same as my first bottle of F200. It's not because mine was mislabeled, girl. It was legit. Like this is just a very, very dark foundation. Like, this is the lightest shade. This is the lightest shade. This is the second lightest shade. Like, seriously. Like, I don't even know. Like, what is wrong with these people? Are they broken or something? Just commenting, oh, no, it's not the foundation. It's you. It's you. You've, you've, it's your fault. It's your fault that the foundation's too dark. It's not the foundation's fault. No, like, the foundations are just generally dark foundations. But they are amazing. I hope I hope and I wish they come out with more shades because they are absolutely beautiful to use. Beautiful. But, however, even though it is my ride or die, I still love to experiment with new foundations because who knows, I might find another ride or die. So, I picked up the Re L'Oreal foundations. I picked up the Infallible 24 Hour foundation in the shade Golden Beige. I'm super excited to use this. Then I also picked up the L'Oreal Nutri Lift Gold Anti-Aging Serum Foundation, which looks like this. I bought that in Beige Glow. And then I also picked up another, oh, sorry. And I also picked up another bottle of the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Foundation, or Lumi Magic Foundation. Um, I'm wearing this one today, actually, on my face. It's not my ride or die, but I do like it. It is quite a nice foundation. Um, yeah. Not much to say about it. It is very, very similar, but it's not the exact same as the EX one, but it is still very, very beautiful. And I picked that one in the shade, picked up that one rather, in the shade Golden Linen W3. Really, really enjoy that too. If you fake tan or if you're pale and you fake tan, I feel like that would be a really, really good shade for you because I am currently very fake tan, well, one layer of fake tan, and it matches me very, very nicely. Also from Look Fantastic, I picked up a hairbrush because, well, I don't know, I just wanted to try a new type of hairbrush. So this is the Den Man hairbrush. I literally got the X1 foundation and this hairbrush in the mail this morning, but no joke, this is probably the best hairbrush that I've ever owned in my whole life. It, the packaging looks like this. It comes in a box and this is the hairbrush. It's natural bristle with nylon quill. I don't know what that means, but seriously, it makes brushing my hair so easy and I love it. It doesn't tug on my hair. It's so nice to use. Off first impressions, I really, really like this brush. It's really, really good. And for the price, it's super affordable. I think it was only like eight pounds or something, which is like $12. Like what? That's so cheap. Jergens came to Priceline. So I picked up two things. I picked up the Jergens Age Defying Revitalize and Replenish Multivitamin Moisturizer. I've used this before and I really, really like it. It's really, really good. And then I also decided to pick up the Jergens Natural Glow. Gradually creates flawless, natural looking color. Daily moisturizer, revitalizing formula with vitamins and antioxidants. And I bought it in the medium to tan um, shade. And after one week, you're supposed to be really, really tan if you can see it on the back. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to try that out. I'm probably gonna try it um, rotating these two, maybe. I don't know, I'll see. But yeah, I'm super, super excited. Does it have a scent? Mm. 
It's just got like a very, very generic cream smell, but good none the least. So I did pick up the L'Oreal Magic Lumi or Lumi Magique Base Pure Light Primer. Um, I am wearing this underneath my foundation today, the Lumi foundation. I don't see myself being super glowy considering I doubled up on the luminous, but whatever. I do like it. It is quite nice. Okay, last two foundations, I promise. I picked up two high-end foundations um, within, I don't know, I just really wanted some high-end foundations. So I picked up the Girolan Lingerie, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Pew, it's a Pew. I don't know how to say that, but it's Broad Spectrum SPF 20, and I am so excited to use this. Um, I was matched to shade 1, but I don't know, like, I don't know why that would match me shade 1. I went in with fake tan on, so hopefully this matches me when I'm a little bit paler. I don't know. And then I also got matched to the shade 10, or 010, in the Christian Dior Dior Skin Forever foundation with SPF 25. They actually had the little gadget guy and they just kind of tested it on my neck. And I don't know, like I don't think I'm super happy with this color match. I don't know, I'm a bit iffy, so I don't want to open it yet, but I don't know. Would you like to see first impressions on these or of any other foundations I've mentioned in this video? Let me know down below, please. A few more drugstore things and then I promise I am done. So I picked up the Maybelline Brow Jar... Uh, what? Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Dark Brown. I really quite like this. The brush is a little bit funky, but basically it's got really, really, really tiny bristles here, and then it, like, comes out into a ball. But, I don't know, like, I just quite like it. I don't know, like, it might be because I'm new, like, it's new, that I'm like, ooh, but... I don't know, I'm, I've really, really been liking it. I've been reaching for it a lot over my benefit Gimme Brow. It's not the same as Gimme Brow, but I do reach for it more, if that makes sense. Hope it does. I bought some e.l.f. stuff of iHerb. So I picked up two eyebrow kits. I'm kind of pissed off that this one's shattered and I had to, like, repair it. Um, this one's in Ash. I don't even know why I bought this shade. Like, what? Um, but, yeah, I bought this in Ash, but the powder, like, broke, so I had to, like mush it up and just make it work again and then also the medium oh my god i almost lost my train of thought the medium shade which i've actually quite been liking the wax not so much the powder because it's really really orange but yeah really been liking that so far but i've only used it a few times then i've also picked up the elf contouring blushing bronzer powder kit um, in the shade St. Lucia's. Um, I've only really used this bronzer once and then I haven't used the blush, but it seems really, really chalky. Yeah, but it's still okay. Like considering it's only like $3. And then I also picked up the e.l.f. blush, which I don't really see as blush. I see it more as a highlighter in the shade Gotta Glow. And this is so comparable to NARS Albatross. Um, it's probably more powdery, but Again, three dollars. Three dollars. Can't go wrong. Okay, guys, I've got a rush. My little camera um, battery light is coming on, so that means my camera, my camera is going to die soon. So let's quickly get through these last four products, six products. Picked up, well, Yango picked up the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade for me in the shade Dark Brown. Um, we didn't order together. We split the shipping, and yeah, I really, really like this so far. Mm. it good and I also picked up the Anastasia contour kit I just picked up the default um, light to medium skin tone one um, I do like it eh, I'll talk about it more later I picked up two things from Essence I don't own anything from Essence so I decided to give the brand a shot um, both were influences from again Yagma she makes me so poor um, she wanted the bloom me up shimmer powder and I seen it at my work there was two left and I was like dude do you want it and she was like yes and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna pick it up as well and basically it's one of the most beautiful highlighters that I've ever 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 touched in my life like can you see the beautifulness I have it on my cheeks today in combination with that elf one and I really really like it it is so beautiful and I hope essence makes this permanent because it is really 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 good and then this eyeshadow. 
Oh my goodness, this eyeshadow. Oh yeah, by the way, this is in the shade Rose It Up. This one is in the shade Irresistible Foxtrot. This is so, so gorgeous. I filmed a formal makeup look with this. Um, it was this, but then I added some dark colors on the outside. Um, but yeah, that should be up shortly. Either the video before or the video after this one. Um, hopefully, if my editing goes to plan. But this thing is so, so beautiful. This is definitely going to be a summer staple for me. So I picked up two of the Vaseline spray moisturizers, the yellow and the green one. And I've been using these so much and they are so, so, so good. They're not greasy. They're very, very light on the skin and they absorb into skin really, really well. The other thing is I feel like I need to use more moisturizer than what I normally would. But again, that's just in a spray. That's what's going to happen. But yeah. If you're still here, good on you because this haul seems to be very, very big and I get a feeling it's going to be a very, very long haul to edit and watch. So thank you for staying till the end. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much and even share the video with your friends if you want to. So yeah, thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.